Next question is from All Out Shell. Did you all train while in London? What did your nutrition look like? What new foods did you guys try? You know, there was a huge shift for me. And I think, Adam, you've talked about this, how this you did the same thing uh, years ago. When I would go on vacation, I was always worried about losing my gains. I'm going to gain body fat. How, where's the gym? I got to keep making progress. What am I going to do? And mm -hmm. I actually made my vacations and my trips not nearly as enjoyable or it would turn into this like I'd turn off my fitness and then go so far in the other direction that it was just, it was also not enjoyable. Then I realized that later on that, you know, you're going to do this forever. I'm going to work out forever. Okay. I'm going to try and eat healthy for the rest of my life. They are moldable tools and I can use them to maximize the quality of my life. Even if the context of my life changes, so when I go on vacation or on a trip, we went to London and we're at that ARC event. And my goal is not to hit PRs. It's not to get more muscular. It's not to burn body fat. I'm not there for that. My goal is to meet people, have stimulating conversations, absorb the information, and also enjoy the culture. So my workouts really were about maximizing my mental acuity, my mental health, make myself feel good. My yes. diet was about enjoying the culture, but also managing the potential negatives that can come from eating things that might bother me. So I pay attention to that, but that's it. It wasn't literally, I, I wasn't tracking and got to do my workout. My workout looked like 15 minutes. I would wake up in the morning for 15 minutes. I'd go in the hotel gym and I would just do enough to feel good. So I had the energy for the rest of the day. That mm -hmm. was it. That's what I did. Yeah. You know, I've, I've thought long and hard about like how I want to communicate this message because I don't also want to encourage people not to be consistent with their training and their diet and, and to, and to do those things. Right. Cause I think that there's an, there's, an, there's some importance obviously to that. It's true. I haven't worked out in three weeks. Uh, so it's been, it's been almost a month for me coming up on since I've actually trained just because I got sick right before we left. And there's, it's been crazy since we got back. And so I just haven't got around to lifting, but I've modified, uh, you know, my eating habits and the other things that I'm doing, doing physical things yesterday, building with my son and stuff. And so I'm still active. I'm still staying healthy. Um, but I also think that's a testament to all the years that we have invested in building our metabolism, building our muscle, learning what our body needs, understanding that the the whole health sphere encompasses more than lifting weight, building muscle and burning body fat, that there's other aspects of enjoyment of the culture and to hanging out with family and friends and connecting with my son and getting better sleep on this night, like all those things matter. And I think that because just like somebody who's invested for a very long time financially, they can get away with blowing some money on here and enjoying things like that because they've been disciplined for so many years of, of investing that they can get away with this. And so I think that that's one of the, my favorite parts about being, uh, you know, an older man now that's been lifting for over two decades is I've invested a lot in muscle on my body yeah. and training and understanding what I need to do calorie wise to stay, you know, at maintenance and what does a surplus and a deficit look like? And that man optimizing my sleep or my relationships is important to my health too. And so when I go on a trip like that, like, yeah, I, I really don't, I don't really yeah. think about that shit. Like, mm -hmm. it, and if it happens, it happens. Um, like if there, there was a, there wasn't really a time where it made sense that we would go to the gym and we were going to work out and I didn't feel necessary that I needed to get up an extra hour, especially since I wasn't sleeping that well there anyways to go and try and work out. Like, ah, I just, I didn't, I didn't care about that. In yeah. fact, it would have taken away probably. Yeah. yeah. In fact, I was, uh, someone thought I was competing. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. You're buying so, two times. You see? So hey, two times. Uh, yes, I was approached by a couple of prostitutes that were in, inside that walked up to me Sal and, I and paid said, off. Um, um, are you, hey, can you yes. for five bucks? Just, you know, I was really I was, just I was buying a Reese's bit. peanut butter cup and a Diet Coke, and she was right <laughs> behind me. And she goes, "How did you do?" And I said, "What do you mean?" She goes, "You competed." And I thought, "Oh my god, you think hey, you think I compete right were, now?" Hey, you were beaming. <laughs> he could not wait to tell us yeah. about this yeah. later. I was like, "Dude, two two people forget that they were trying to solicit me, probably." And yeah, I'm like, wait, wait, it didn't matter. The fact that she made that that maybe maybe you missed the second part of the clip. I just want to make a point too that I said it to the guys, whether they believe me or not, and. Then we were in the the lounge at the airport, and the the lady uh, asked me the same question. So I'm this like, is hey. by the way, that's this is three times now something weird like that's happened. You had the the, the prostitute said that the lady at the lounge. 
Do you remember when we were at the airport that other time? I believe it's called Lady of the Night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got is that right. the politically That's correct term? Yeah. You mean the young kid that let's, thought I was all hip? Hey, no, no, hey, this was my favorite one. We're sitting around and we're waiting for our luggage. Everybody's tired or whatever. And you get these ego boosts all the time. Just, I think God knows. Yeah, like you need. Yeah. And this kid goes up to Adam and he goes, what, what, what sport do you play? And Adam's like, what do you mean? He's like, you, you're a professional athlete? And yeah. Adam's face like lights up. I'm, yeah, like, oh, fuck. I'm like, shit, I don't need to train. Here we go. Dude. I'm like, yeah. taking another week off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was a good time. Yeah, yeah. so I'm, you know, I did though one one day. I think I did it because I heard Justin say, Oh man, I've been doing I've been doing some body weight stuff in the inside my room. I'm like, oh, you know what? I could do some push-ups. <laughs> I did some push-ups. That was my lats were sort of the I was like, damn, you know I'm deconditioned right now. Shit ever. Oh, I get my, my lats get well, sore. You know, for me, I know uh, you guys, you guys don't don't deal with the same, uh, I don't know, how would I label it? Mental health issues that I do, but I, I need, I it, it, I have identified it as very necessary. It quills the beast. Well, me, here's yeah. the deal. I drive you guys crazy anyway. Could yes. you imagine if I didn't uh, use that, how much I drive no, you, you guys need, crazy? You need it, dude. Yeah, yeah for so sure. I mean, for me, it's, a, yeah, it's a constant kind of like a feel thing. And uh, I just, I don't like sitting for too long. That's a yeah. huge thing for me. Like I have to have movement and, and, Thankfully, we were walking a lot, you know, yeah. and, and that's the great part about going to Europe. It's like everything mm -hmm. is in walking distance and we were out and active. And so it didn't feel too, um, I guess, I didn't, I didn't feel too much of this crazy itch that I had to get this crazy workout in. I got one good one in, but the rest of them were like these stupid body weight things. And, and really, it's just for me, it's like expressing my muscles. And if I ever feel like I'm, I'm weak or, or I'm like, tight and stiff and it really for me it's like a signal of like pain stiffness you know whatever it is like that that kind of stuff like i'm like really adamant about getting my workout well, in. I have, other than that I'm, I'm i'm chilling i get so scattered i have so much challenge paying attention if i'm sitting for longer than five minutes and if i don't exercise then you, i know i would have drove everybody crazy and i would have <laughs> felt like i wasted my time there so i'm like if i don't do this i'm going to sit down at arc and I'm going to listen to two minutes yeah. and then I'm going to zone out and, you know, it's going to be was terrible. a lot of sitting in store for us. Yeah, I just, so I, I had, had to, to get, you yeah, know. I, had to get I just hope that we, in. I mean, I hope that we're a part of changing the narrative around what health looks like for yeah. our space. It's, That's right. For the longest time, it's been this obsessive, I want to be jacked. And I've already proven that self. Yeah. I've already proven that. Like, I, I, I know how jacked I can I can get. And I got nothing to prove to anybody else. Like, I, I want to be healthy. I want to be a good father. I want to be a, a good husband. I want to be a good brother. I want to be a good business partner. Nobody highlights want, the maturity factor, right? In our and space. it's just, I know that it doesn't it doesn't do well on Instagram, right? That's not like a cool thing to to post or to show off. But like that's where I'm at in my life. And like, the last thing I would want, uh, I'm in London, like trying to see all these amazing things and enjoy an incredible, what an honor it was to be invited to that place yeah. uh, by Jordan Peterson and to be a part of that and to be thinking about what my biceps look like or my abs or <laughs> where if my protein, if I hit my macros for the day, like just listen to yourself, say that out loud. I was stupid. Yeah. You know, right. This like, is, oh, it's man. like, you know, and, and I know that in our space, like that's what people want to hear is like, Oh, you know, how did you do this? And how'd you fit your macros? And did, did you get your workout in like, and have this like plan? It's like, no, you know, I, I, I've done my investing. I invested for a very long time in my life to be a healthy and fit person. And now I'm at a, a beautiful place where I can mm -hmm. go blow some money a little bit and not go broke. Mm -hmm. And like, that's exactly how I look at it is I had two weeks of getting, of, of splurging, enjoying myself moderately, not being irresponsible mm -hmm. and I go blow all my wealth and you know what I'm saying? Yeah. In, in one but week, if you're beginning in your journey, right? Like it's one of our clients that's out there different. and it's like, it's yeah. a different that's subject. Right. They're asking the us and we're at like, you know, decades of yeah. experience with yeah. this stuff and we know our bodies I, very well. I tell people like that, uh, just be consistent, <laughs> but the workout itself should be there that's to the biggest factor. enhance your vacation. So that might mean something small. It might mean, but if it's going to improve the quality of your life in that period of time, then that's what you should You also do. might be at a different place in your journey right now. If you're that client that we're talking about right now, and you've never proven to yourself you can put two months straight together, yeah. and, then you go on a trip, and a vacation yeah. hits at one week, get your ass in there and work yeah, out. Yeah. Because there's, there, there, there's something bigger than just that moment that you're trying to sure. accomplish. Sure. And, and that, that the mental fortitude it will take to overcome that, the sacrifice will come that, it trumps the best 
thing you should do for building muscle or the best, like at that point, it's really proving to yourself, totally. can I discipline myself for a period of time, even with these circumstances where I got to travel and that per you got to prove that that's just like an investing thing. If you are just starting investing, you finally made your first few hundred dollars. You don't get to go blow it right away and then just go the other direction. It's like, no, you're, you got to still stay disciplined yeah. just because you're on vacation. Doesn't mean you, you've earned that right to do that yet. And so when you ask me a question like that or us, where we've been doing this for a long time, you just- Well, you get a varied answer because you can obviously see what we all do is based off of how we see it. Value. I know, Doug, you probably, did you, do you worked out? Yeah, I did time. body weight stuff, yeah. some push-ups, some wall uh, push-ups, stand, handstands, yeah. um, some bands. Yeah. That's yeah. it. But Maybe you do it for the times. same reason I do because I know you do because it makes you feel- Yeah, I just, I, so when I went to Japan this summer- I was gone for two weeks and I didn't do anything. Yeah. And I definitely lost some muscle. And so what I did really when I was in London was just try to preserve what I had. Mm. I had no, I mean, it was like 10 minutes. You, you lost muscle for two weeks? I did. You really did? I did. I noticed. You think so? Yeah, I mm. felt like it. Yeah. You gained back so fast. Though. I gained. I, mean, I, I gained it back in like. I two mean, weeks. I did too. Yeah. I, I definitely yeah. lost for sure. I mean, under eating protein. I know. For, I can't believe. Imagine what they would have said if you were working. I out. know, right? <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> might, have, might have got on stage. Who knows? No. Might give you free no. services. Yeah. Where's your trophy? I mean, that's just it too. It's like you know that I know that I lost. Like I knew. I knew I lost muscle. I know I've lost some strength. I thought I got sore from doing push-ups. Are you kidding me? Like the, for sure, I took a went backwards. But it's like. I can afford to do that a little bit. Yeah. And there's other, but I went forward in other aspects, you know, I got, totally. I got better. Like, you know what I'm terrible about when I travel? That was really important to me. Like I'm so bad about calling my wife and making time, carving that off to make, make her feel special. Like that's a big deal. Like I'd hit that dude. I hit that every single time. That's a big deal for me. Right. That's more important in my life right now that I get better at that thing. than I proved to myself and get in the gym. I already proven that shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like you have to think about all those things. Totally. And that's the stuff. That's where my mind was at. hundred percent. Look, if you like mind pump, head over to mindpumpfree.com and check out all of our free fitness guides. They cost nothing and they can help you with most of your health and fitness goals. You can also find all of us on Instagram. Justin is at mind pump. Justin. I'm at mind pump to Stefano and Adam is at mind pump. Adam.